I have an EKG to share with you. Let's see if you get it right. This EKG right here, as we can see, it's very slow. So this could be ominous in our patient, the slow heart rate. But look at the characteristics. It looks pretty similar to normal sinus. It's just too slow. What we have? Well, we have sinus bradycardia. Now, a few things we wanna watch out for here. So first off, we wanna ask the patient, do they normally have a slow heart rate? They might know it. For example, sinus bradycardia can go in many directions. An athlete or a runner might at baseline have sinus bradycardia. But think about it, folks. They're calling the ambulance, right? So the odds are if we're seeing a sinus bradycardia, well, it might not be their normal, right? So we wanna use that mindset. Now, with that being said, we should be doing that every sinus bradycardia that we see, that's not an athlete or a runner, probably do a 12 week EKG. That makes sense, all right? A lot of heart attacks can have slow heart rates. Now, what if we determine this sinus bradycardia, it's so slow, the patient's having a symptomatic bradycardia and it's causing them problems. We're gonna go back to the old rule of stable versus unstable, versus medications versus energies. So atropine would be our medication of choice to bring up the actual heart rate. Then if we need to, we have in our back pocket, if we need to, we do have the pace making function on the life pack. But usually again, not a rule, second degree type two, third degree heart blocks. Heart blocks is where we usually do more pacing, but it's a tool if we need to use it.